Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we are joined by the Bowtie Balloon Guy, Mr. Rob Driscoll again. Rob, hello, thank you for coming. Thanks for getting me back again. I, I, you're welcome. And we're on to Bowtie number three now. Number three, yes. Yeah. So I'm on the fish now. This is fish. Very yeah. nice. Very pastel colours. Very on vogue. Very cool. fashionable. Thank you. So, um, today, Rob is... In fact, I'm, I'm not going to tell you what Rob's going to do. Rob, what are you going to do? We're going to make a pirate ship. Pirate ship? Yep. Yay. Excellent. We did, we, we, in the last couple of uh, times I was here, we made girly things. Yes. So I thought we'd do something for boys. Well, when we were at Spring Fair, back in February, people were saying that um, pirates are, are coming back in and pirate yep. parties and stuff. Absolutely, so yeah. Let, let's, let's do that then. Let's make a pirate. I say so, let's, you're going to yeah, do it. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. going to watch. Uh, it's kind of an introduction to... A flat weave as well. So okay. we're going to do a bit of an introduction to, fl to a flat weave. Uh, so here are the balloons we're going to use. Uh, mostly, to start off with, we're going to use uh, our Mocha 260s. And we'll come to the 160s so is that later it? on. Just yep. four balloons? Four, we might not even use four. I can usually get away with two. Really? For, for a pirate ship, okay. yeah, for, the, for the basic pirate ship. Uh, but we'll see how we go. I always have a spare one in there just in case. Always good. Uh, so we're going to inflate these up. With the big pump. With the big pump. Does the pump have a name? Is it, uh, is it John or something? Uh, uh, I ought to think of a name, shouldn't I? You should. You yeah. Would, well, you should. Yeah. So I've blown this up uh, mostly all the way. There's a, there's a, a section yeah. at the end there. Which is on there. We're going to do the same with the other one. About there. Why do you do that? I know this has been explained before on BMTV. So when you, uh, when you twist the balloon, but I'll show you with this one here. Uh, that there is where the air is up to. Mm -hmm. If you hold it about an inch away from there yeah. and don't move, if I twist this up like this, you'll see the air getting closer to me three twists and it's already at your fingers yeah yeah if i if i blew it all the way up and i did all these twists just the pressure them. would get more and more yeah. and more and more and it'll pop yeah so it gives you room to expand okay uh so that's a very good demonstration i like yeah. what you showed yeah yeah, yeah. i Excellent. usually draw a line on it in a pen and you can yeah. see the pen moves down the balloon yeah yeah it's um, very good it's quite it's quite a handy little tip yeah, little thing so anyway so we've got our our 260 here i'm going to start with a pinch twist yeah and uh all I do is I make a, a bubble, a decent mm -hmm. sized bubble, then I take the knot, twist it back in, like that. Yeah. Simple as that. Uh, our base of the pirate ship is going to be about, uh, I, I usually put my hand on it, and I'll, I guess about a small hand, a hand width, uh, length. It, it, as, you, as you get to do this, you'll get to think, oh yeah, I could do it a bit longer, a bit mm -hmm. shorter, but um, it's all down to your own personal preference. Yeah. This is going to be the base of the ship. I'll bring it back. I'm going to measure this one against the same, so it's the same length as the other one, and twist it into our. Oh, so that's going to be the base yeah. of our ship. Like that. Okay. Okay. We're now going to take our other balloon and do a same size pinch twist here. Mm -hmm. Like that. And this will then go into the opposite side. Okay. Like that. So that's the base of our, our, of our ship. Now, a flat weave this is what we're going to do. If you're going to do a, a, a straight, what you do is uh, all these would be the same. Mm -hmm. Because we're doing a ship, we, we want to go out okay. and get wide yeah. as we go to, go to the top. Um, we need to create some spacer bubbles now. All right, so uh, I'm going to start with the, the longer one of the two, two balloons here. And now the spacer bubble, I always find this is something you need to experiment with. Uh, I do mine quite small, mm -hmm. so that's how big it is there. It's smaller, slightly smaller in size than the diameter of the balloon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is going to stretch a bit when you get it going and be like that, but I've made it just smaller than the diameter of the balloon. Yeah. We're now going to do a long bubble, and because I want it to uh, get wider as it goes up, I'm going to measure this so it's longer than the one below. It's quite a bit longer, it's probably yeah. a couple of in inches longer. I'll come back. Same size bubble here. And now we need to replicate this spacer bubble here. Same size. 
about there, a bit too big. And then I'm going to push that through there. Like so. So that's the weaving, pushing that's the that weaving, through there. Yeah. yeah. And just to make sure it's all locked in, I'm going to give that a turn. That just makes sure it's all locked in, so I'm going to come undone. Okay. So there's our, our, our first two, our first two um, levels. We're going to do one more. Yeah. Space the bubble again. Then again, I'm going to be get this longer than the one before. Mm -hmm. Now you'll notice here, I haven't got enough to go back. Yeah. That's not a problem. I'm going to make sure that's twisted off here. I'm going to keep hold of it in my fingers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a spacer bubble on the other side. Like that. Twist that into there. And now I can use this, the other side, to go back ah. to here. Like that. Okay. So that's basically the start of our ship. Yeah. Okay. We're going to call this the front end. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you end up with longer, the longer... Um, uh, uh, bits of balloon left over here and it depends on how, it, how it's built and what you start off with yeah um, I think that's quite a good size for I call it the, the front end the yeah. uh, pointy bit the pointy bit the yeah. bow the bow, bow. <laughs> I, uh, sh I should have known that yeah really, yeah, yeah. Been exactly yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna make a, a couple of pinch twists here there's one pinch twist like that. and another one And then I can get the front of our ship to sit nicely in there. Yeah. If you've got, if you've not got enough, then add another bit of balloon in. Yeah. yeah. You can quite easily attach another another uh, piece of balloon into there. I quite like the fact it's a bit pointy on this one, so yeah. I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay. With the back end, I've got this balloon I used earlier to demonstrate. Stay there. I'm going to just put a pinch twist in the in the bottom here. And I can join that to the back, make sure it's nice and secured. Uh, this bit I'm going to get rid of, if I can. And then I'm going to create a vertical piece and then a slightly smaller, mm -hmm. which goes back down to the to the bottom, get rid of all that, and then that I think sits nicely about there. So that's our basic shape. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do a sail. Leave him there. So this I've got uh, either 160 chocolate. Yeah. You can usually get away with uh, using one 160 for the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I've blown it all the way up to the end. There's a little bit, yeah. a tiny bit, but that's fine. Uh, because it's nice to have the the end of the balloon as clean, Yeah. I'm going to use that as the top of my mast. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'm going to do a bit of a guesstimate here, and I'm going to measure uh, where I think the top of the mast might be. So I'm thinking it's going to be about here. Uh, and then I'm going to go through the ship and it's going to come out the bottom of the ship a couple of inches. Okay. So about there. Like that. I'm going to get rid of this. Now this is a bit of a tricky bit. I'm going to pop this, but keep this. That is tricky. You can't let go of the other side, can you? So you could if you wanted. Okay. Chop it off and it'll deflate yeah. and then reinflate okay. it again. Okay. Or use another balloon. Yeah. So that's into not. Why waste it? Why waste it? Exactly, yeah. And then that will fit through there. There's the start of my mast. This is going to be the cross section. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have a guess here of how. That's going to be, I reckon, about there. You want it slightly longer than uh, what you imagine it to be, because I'm going to do a few pinch twists in the, in the middle yeah. here. 
So I'm going to say about there, deflate the rest. Oh, like that. So how do you know how long to do it? You're literally just I'm, having I'm a I'm just, just judging, just doing, I, most of what I do, I, I judge. Unless it's something really important that needs to be measured, then I will just judge it. Uh, now I'm just going to use a very small pinch twist here, mm -hmm. just to, luckily I've got a spare balloon. Always good. Yep. So we try that again. Get rid of that. Start again. Up there, I think. Does it worry you when you burst balloons? No, not at all. Just put a new one in. Uh, it happens. They're balloons. They pop. Yeah. It's life, isn't it? So there's a very small pinch twist in the middle here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. So there's two very small pinch twists, about like that. That's a good looking mast. There we go. Very nice. For ships, they normally go that way. Sometimes I do put them that way, but it's up to you. Personal preference. Okay. Now we're going to put it on the base. Okay. Okay. And, uh, oh, I've got some rounds here. Now I mentioned last last time I was here, or time before last, I used my pump to size mm -hmm. uh, things. And uh, you'll notice I've got all these lines on the side. Oh of yeah, my, I wonder what they are. Th these are my sizing guide. Okay. Uh, so if I want a five inch round to be blown up fully, I know that that Perfect. bottom mark there, if I Cut that to the front, to the, to the top there. I know they're all going to come out the same size. That's that. a non-electric digital inflator. Non-electric digital inflator. I'm going to go a bit smaller with this, so I'm going to use this this mark here. I some I, it, they wear out yeah. and they, they change colour as they go. So right. so at the moment I'm using the the partly orange black line there, and uh, up. That's quite a nice size for a base. Get that about the same. Tie those together. Two more of those. Same up there. Make a quad. Yep. As you've seen it a thousand times before. There the, is a BMTV balloon basics on how to do that. There you that. go. Then I'm going to go to the bottom one of my green ones here. Okay. Uh, do some smaller ones. I bet you're just as fast with this as anybody else would be with a digital inflator. Wow. Well, it, 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 not really. I mean. But then by the time you've set up all the buttons and things, yeah. if it's a couple, then I'm, I might be as fast. Yeah. But, but when you've got a hundred to do then. <laughs> that was a good opportunity for you to say, yeah, Greg, I'm really, really fast at this. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it's not, I'm not. Okay. I, <laughs> I consider myself to be really slow, if you're honest with you. All right. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the fastest of, of balloon twisters. So this is gonna be our, our base. Yep. Um, I'm gonna fix this, uh, the bottom of the mask, mast. Yeah. Go through the middle. Wrap it around a few times, like that, and then push the ship down into that space, and that sits nicely. Yeah. Like that. Now, that's all very well, but it's it's quite fancy. Yeah. So I'm going to put a weight in it, and uh, I don't know. I I think this is my idea, but you just use a we'll water see. weight, wouldn't you? Yeah. The trouble is with water weights. Uh, if I if I do. I used to use a water weight. I'd double stuff a balloon. Yep. So I'd put a balloon inside the balloon so it's double thickness. Uh, I used to do this and I used to deliver it to a local company and they used to display it and I didn't realise they would put it on top of their computer. Ah, uh, oh, and, okay. And, I, and yeah. suddenly I had this panic. Oh my God, these, that's, this, you know, this could be a disaster. Yes. It's all my fault. You know? Yeah, uh, not so a good I, idea. I, for a while I changed to sand. Yeah. And then I, I just imagined if it did pop, a similar, you know, sand in your computer is not what you want. Not. So I came up with this idea, which is uh, marbles. Oh. And uh, I tend to use marbles. You probably, 
I, I, I sometimes use the little small ones. If I can get the big ones, I use the big, these big ones. Yeah. Uh, Where'd you get them? Just toy shop or something? Toy shop, eBay, yeah. Amazon. Okay. People giving me marbles. I've yeah. had a few people give me, oh, I've got marbles, you can have them. Uh, uh, for this one, I think I'll probably only need the one. Yeah. Uh, if it's a bit bigger, I might put two or three in. Uh, I take my... Balloon neck stretching tool. Balloon neck stretching tool. Uh, which are available to buy from you, and they're a bargain. They uh, they are, I'm sure. They're losing me. Um, lost your marbles. Lost my marbles. Yeah. yeah. Stay. It's not going to stay there. It? It? I'm, I'm here. It's help. A, yeah. Go on in. Okay. Be be my glamorous assistant. So I'm going to put the marble in there. That's it. Push it down. I think I, I think I did that really well, Rob. That's very good. Yeah. You've done it before, haven't you? Practice. I can tell. So that's now now got a marble in it. Uh, yeah. A nice bit of balloon to, yeah. to use to tie to. Put it in there. And that is now so uh, just with, perfect weighted. With, with one marble, one that marble just feels enough, considerably it? better. It's enough, isn't it? From a quality it? point of view as well. It it's, feels heavier, so yeah. you're getting more. Yeah. It's not going to get blown over by the wind yeah. or anything, or even if you knock it. Yeah. It, that's, quite, that's quite a good... It's like a weeble. Do you remember yeah. weeble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, they wobble, but they yeah, don't yeah. fall down. You could probably... it probably land on the floor, but... It, uh, it, it will, it will yeah, land yeah. on the floor. Oh no, it's gone wrong. Sunk. It sunk. So I guess you could use bigger balloons to do bigger versions of that. Yes. And we've got one, haven't we? Have uh, we? We have. Oh, there Look it at. is. <laughs> is that a bit, a bit too cheesy? No, no, that's good. It's good. <laughs> so this is an upscaled version. Okay. So for this one, I've used 350s yeah. instead of the 260s. Exactly the same. You need a few more. Yeah. Like for this one, it was about two and a half balloons. I think for that one, I used three or four. Uh, I've used two sixties for the the sail. Yeah. And instead of just the single cross here, yeah. I put a double. So I've come from the middle out to a pinch twist, mm -hmm. back again. Yeah. Out to a pinch twist and back again. Yeah. And then. Uh, so that's one balloon. That's one balloon. One balloon in there. For a bit of an extra sec security, I've put two pinch twists in the middle here. Yeah which were part of the vertical on this one. 350 sails. Yeah. You could, if you, you wanted us, I've done this before, where you could wrap an uninflated balloon around, which I think looks quite nice. Yeah. For a bit of added. Added texture. Added texture. Yeah, you know. like it. Um, and you've added cannons as well. Cannons as well. These cannons are like that. And uh, I can show you I won't do it with black, I'll do it with a different colour because it'll yeah. be easier to see. Okay. Uh, but they are a tulip twist on the end of a piece of balloon. Oh, and I'll right. show you on this brown here, if I blow this up. So you've got your knot end, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to push the knot yeah. into... Push the knot into... So my finger is now about here, yeah. you can see it back there. And I'm going to grab with these fingers that nut, take my finger up. So I've got the knot in there, twist that around a few times. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just going to push that knot back inside and this bit of rolls back yeah. over there and holds it all in place. Yeah. And that, if I remove the rest of this balloon. There's your cannon. That is a cannon. This is a 161. Yeah. That's a 260 size one, which I've got So you've got a 260 and you put a 160 on there, so... I've joined them together with a bit, of, cool. bit of scrap balloon, and they just fit in here, or... Let's do it on this one, shall we? Massive cannons on this tiny little pilot ship. Oh, that's brilliant. And uh, I've drawn the anchor on there. Yeah. And that's got a few more marbles in it, but it's still... Yeah, it's still... It's yeah. still quite solid and... Yeah, that's cool. Well, there you go. How to make a pirate ship. Rob, thank you very much that's all right. for that. Now, as a guest, you might know by now, you've been here a few times. Yeah. You get to ask the question of the week. I thought of a question just now, and now I've forgotten it. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was something you said at the beginning of the show, and I thought, oh, that's a good question. I'm going to ask that question. And uh, I, I can't remember what it was. And I can't remember what I said, because no, no. that was a full no, 10, 15 exactly. minutes ago. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so let me ask a question. Let me think of a good question. 
What's uh, your favourite pirate word? Oh, that's a good one, actually. We should quick news that one. So the question of the week yeah. this week is, what is your favourite pirate word? Rob, thank you so thank much you. for coming in and doing this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>